First of all, I'd like to give all praise to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, with God with God. The violence to apostles and elders of great millstone worm learning. I'm telling you, learning the truth, bro. And this is this this is for uh, the hopefully elect so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and these speckled birds are scattered over the four corners of the earth. And whose lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Where the true Israelites, Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. I would like to go into uh, this article I picked up earlier today, and this the business section of the U.S. Sun. I'm just gonna read the headlines, and it says, uh, "Warning: Fed coin is coming, and it may replace cash and hurt savers." as well as align government to track your payments. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but as you can see, you pretty much know what this is. If you don't, you will know. It's a new currency. It is a new currency. Because the paper dollar, the Fiat, it's no longer any good. Hyperinflation is hitting. Nobody wants this this dollar, and everybody is complicit com, complicit in uh, implementing NWO. And right now they're fighting for who's going to control it. Who's going to sit in the top seat, which we all know, none of them. But let's start off with, uh, naturally, I had to start with Revelation 13 and 16. Yeah. Revelation 13, chapter 16, verse, and it reads, And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The 17th verse, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Verse 18, here is the wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. Well, it's the number of a man, and the number is six hundred three score and six. You know, so that is. Let's go into this. Let's go into this. Revelation 13 and 18. Here is words to let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, where it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Okay, let's go to. Let's go to. Uh, See that that name uh, Mark me the word Mark. I think this is it. No, it's not it. Ah, uh, let's see. Karagma. Karagma. And it says. A scratch or etching, that is, stamp, as a badge of server tool, or sculptured figure, statue, graven mark, karagma. 
That's what that is. And if you go back to uh, Revelation 13, 17, it reads, and that no man might buy or sell, except he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Revelation 13, 18, he is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. What is the number of a man? And his number is 603 score and 6. Now I'm going to go to uh, Jeremiah. Look at Jeremiah. And second chapter 28 verse. I think this is it. And for you, for you, for you people, you know, mainly Jakes, but that's all that I'm concerned about is to hopefully let, you know, you gotta, you gotta come, come with the, to believe you gotta come with, you know, you gotta get rid of those idols and stop following these people that's teaching you wrong, you know, and teach you all kind of things they ought not to, you know, go to GMS and listen to them. You don't listen to anybody else's teaching doctrine that, that's off. The more you learn, the, the more you discern. You know, so let's read Jeremiah 2, 28. But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise. But they can save thee in the time of trouble, for according to the number of thy cities, are thy gods, O oh, Jew. You know that you know people they didn't create a different, different little gods that they worship. That they, they can't even, they can't eat. They can't. What, what, what can they do? They're, they're no, they're idols. They're nothing. You know, but that's who you worship. You know, that's what, you know, come out of that. Come out of that, because it's a time coming where you really gonna need a a, a a real power and a power over all powers, and his name is Yahweh, which is, which means he is he to be. He's everything. He is, and it's only begotten Son Yahweh, which is his right hand of power. <coughs> So like, which means Yahweh, which means he delivers. So, you know, to deliver the Savior. The anointed. Now let's go to uh, Jeremiah 30. So, because you're gonna have to rely on Yahweh, the high some Yahweh side, but it's their trouble. And as it can say it's saying it, you know, how Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, Alas, but that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved out of it. What are you talking about? The elect by Israel. Israel is the elect, but you got the elect of the elect. And I, 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 Lord will it? I pray that I'm part of the hope of the elect, as well as all the other brothers. And I, I know, you know, probably all this great millstone and people who, and the men who learned from them. And also, the one, you know, the other one third. Which is the women and children, men, women, and children. They have the ruling class, and you have the men, women, and children. Everything is, I said, like everything is order. That's an order. But they won't be subject to the second death. They're going to start our kingdom up under the Howard side, which is his kingdom, King David, 144,000. 
along with the men, women, and children. My Jacob's trouble is his comments right around the corner. Now let's go to uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 55 and 6. Isaiah 55. Six and it reads, Seek ye Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly part. Yeah, so. You gotta seek him out. You know, all due diligence. Turn back from the wicked ways. And time is running. Time is running out. Now let's go to uh, Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah. 29 and 13. And it reads, And ye shall seek me and find me, when ye shall search for me with all your heart. With all your heart, with all your mind. Let's see what, what, what heart means. Let's see what heart means. Pronouncing it right it may not be though. Live, like wop. I can tell you what it means. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So like, but it, um, H three eight two three. The heart, as the most interior organ, used also like H three eight two zero. Bethink themselves, breast. Com comfortably, courage, faint, tender heart, mitts, mind, X, unawares, understanding. And I heard that used as as your mind, as your, you know, the way you're thinking, the way you think, your mind, you know, so. Uh, let's go to Isaiah, look at Isaiah. Um, 30, 21, and it reads, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying this, just, let me just go to, uh, let's see. Isaiah 30 and 20, 30 chapter 20 and verse in the reads, and though the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai gave you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. Look at verse 21, Isaiah 30 verse 21, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. Yeah, so when you hear this, this word being preached, when you look at the videos, uh, preferably to GMS or any, anybody that's teaching the same doctrine as, as uh, the other apostles, uh, Great Millstone, it should be, a, should be a voice inside you that's telling you, you know, this is the right way. You know. And you you're hearkening into it. You know. But I tell you, once you get in into it, once you, 
yeah, yeah, how yeah, how so open, open you up to it, you know. You got to let everything go here, you know, all those thoughts, the evil thoughts, you learn, you get to relearn, redo your, redo your mind. It's, it's, it's going to be a battle, but you do it, redo your mind, and come up out of this way of thinking and come to the correct way of thinking. And that's through the, that was some parts of the great millstone, through the word of the Holy Scriptures. And the other bishops and the accounts that set up the GMS and the teachers. Because you have to you have to learn the right way. As I'm constantly learning how to do through GMS by watching the videos and learning from the accounts. Okay, let's go to uh let's go to uh, Ephesians, Book of Ephesians. I think let's see. Yeah, you know, I got to start from Ephesians 4.17, you know, concerning the new life. And it reads, uh, this I say, therefore, let me see. Uh, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, the Yahweh, said that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by us, and Yahweh, side through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feelings have given themselves over into lasciviousness to work all unclean cleanliness with greediness. But ye have not so learned, Hamashiach. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that ye put on the new man which after the heavenly father Yahweh, Bosh and Yahweh, is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. For the Ephesians 4.29, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of Edify that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieving at the Holy Spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, whereby ye are sealed into the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, for Hamashiach's sake, have forgiven you. So these are, 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 are more or less uh, uh, attributes that you'll learn, you know, that you, 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 that you should be walking in, you know. Once you come into this, and after you, you know, constantly putting away the old you, that, that 
didn't profit you nothing but death and destruction and suffering. You're gonna suffer, and that's true. But uh, you know, you 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 have a purpose, and a hope, and and a faith, and Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, you know, and being a servant of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and being and and, and being and, and everything sincere, you know, walking in His ways, so that. The hope of salvation, could, you know, could be the, could be your key. That's exactly what I'm trying to do, and you know, do it to the best of my ability that that was given unto me. Yeah, I'm just babbling right now. I got to get out of that. Uh, let me go to uh, Colossians three. Uh, let's see. Colossians 3, 8. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy com communication out of your mouth. Like not one to another, saying that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. Verse 10. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where, oh, verse 11. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision. Barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Hamashiach is all and in all. Verse 12, put on therefore as the elect of the Most High Yahweh, by his sweet Yahweh's side, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, or bowels of mercy, so like bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. And, and that right there, you you learn as you go along, as you uh, as you suck with you. But you got to seek them out. You got to seek them. Let's go to uh, Sirach, which is Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Sirach, fifth chapter, seven verse, and it reads. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish, and the day of vengeance. The eighth verse, set not thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. Let's go to Luke 17, 26. And it reads, and that's in the, and uh, Luke 17, 26, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the earth. And the flood came, came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day where the Son of Man is revealed. When the Son of Man is revealed, we at the end of 1730. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of of man is revealed, and that day he which shall be upon the house top. Uh, now I didn't mean to read that, that verse, but from uh, verse 27, 17, Luke, verse 27 to uh, 29. And, uh, that's, a, that's a good read. 
ratification. But uh, this is time to seek seek the, the, the Heavenly Father. Seek the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, you know, while you can. You know, because you don't want to end up like these people. And I'm going to show you who people, the people I'm telling you, I'm talking about. Let's go to Luke uh, 15. 54. Amen. Wow. Wait a minute. Let's see, where am I? No, I'm gonna have to lost my place. Go to Jeremiah 26. It's a lot. Uh, 13. Jeremiah 26, 13, it reads, Therefore now amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Sai, your power, and the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Sai will repent him of the evil that he had pronounced against you. Yeah, so. And, this, and the reason why you want to do that is because that judgment is, is coming, it's already here, but it's not, it's coming on a larger scale. First Peter 4 and 17. First Peter 4 and 17, it reads, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh's side. And if it first began at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh's side? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? You know, so it's, 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 it got this, you know, he's starting the judgment with his house, which is Israel, which is you, so called Native Americans, so called blacks, Latinos. You know, speckled birds that's got around the four corners of the earth, you know. He's starting with the house, with his house first, you know, so it's time to, time to get it together. Let's go to second ashes. Second ashes. Uh, 16. And it reads, Behold, rituals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be a good case, and even then shall evil grow upon earth, war, of famine, and great confusion. But many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword just destroy. You know, so the hyperinflation, you know, all this and that that's going on, as you, you, you can see on the news, and you see all this judgment going on. You know, especially with our people, with our, you know, you know, with, with, with Jake, period. You know, and and this money ain't no good, you know, so. What you think they're going to do in Revelation 16, Revelation 13, 16? Okay. Let's go to uh, Amos 8 and 11. Look at Amos. 8 and 11, and it reads, Behold, the day is come, said the Lord Yahweh, by some Yahweh, said Yahweh, that I was in a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but a hearing of the word of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, by some Yahweh, said, and shall not find it. And that day, so the fair version of young men faint for thirst. Because they're going to be, 
searching for the word, they're going to find, they're going to want some truth. You know, they're going to want to hear some wisdom, how to get out of that, what's going on, you know. They're not going to be able to find it. They're not going to be able to. So let's go to uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 12. Ecclesiastes 8 and 12. Ecclesiastes 8 and 12. It's a lot. And it reads, Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, even fear before him. 13 verse, But it shall not be well unto the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which I as a shadow, because he feared not. Before Yahweh buys from your house, uh, yeah, fear is a, it's a principle. You know, in order to in order to get this, you gotta have to fear the most high power buys from your house. Uh, without that, you got you got nothing. You got nothing. You're proud. You pride. You prideful. Um, uh, you know, I'm kind of all over the place. But it's so it, it, I'm about done anyway. Uh, Isaiah 31. That's what I'm Isaiah uh, 31. Isaiah 31. And this is for, for uh, all you that go down to this government for help, down to these people that's been trying to get ready you for the longest and been using you as a pyramids and has been doing this and that to you and killing your babies and making it legal. This name. You're going to get judged for that when you join a man in hand with them, you know. Because you're saying that, uh, you know, you, you just, just another Judas, you know, you're just another uh, uh, so called Native, uh, Native American scout, you know. You just, you know, you, just an agent, you know. But let's read Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chairs because they are many. And then, and in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not only the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Sir. Now, see, you know, destruction is not for war me. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You're going to be destroyed. You know, uh, and I used, to, I used to say this, you know, I, to, you know, I, I said this comes out to my site manager. Which was a Jake, you know, but he kept uh, uh, Brown showing these uh, 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 small hats because they owned the business. And I told her, hey, when, when that bus comes, I get on it, you're going to be on that same bus. What do you think is going to happen when we on that same bus? You're going to get dealt with. It's that simple. You know, think about the so-called Native Americans, after the scouts that work for uh, Edom, you know, after the scouts that work for them, they conquered them. They put the scouts in the same cell they did with, you know, with the people that he conquered, which was his own people, and they they, they, was, they took care of that, that scout. They, they, he got judged. You know, anybody, anybody that helped these people. The true pale face. The red, the, the, the red man. So let's go to Isaiah 55, 6. That's an unnecessary rant. Isaiah 55 and 6. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, by your house, so why he may be found, call ye upon him, why he is near, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him be turned to truth, Lord, Yahweh, by his house, so and will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly part. For my, okay, that's that, Isaiah 55 and 7. So, you know, seek, seek ye the Lord, why he may be found, call ye upon him, why he is near. 
Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord Yahweh. By some Yahweh sign is, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, he will abundantly pardon. That's right. You know, so you gotta seek him. Seek him right now. Seek him right now. This is the time. Again, the was the pastor of the great meals told him learning is wrong. And with that, so what?